Welcome back, as back as we can be at this point with all of our shifting and changing ways of doing things. I hope this will help. First thing we need to know is that each student is going to get an accordion folder. I don't know if it's gonna look exactly like this, but it's the one I had in my classroom. So you will have one that is for you. I'm actually gonna have two. We're gonna have folder A and folder B. We'll get to that. Inside your folder, you're going to have an envelope or a folder, a manila folder for each of your classes. When you pick this up, you'll do your work from each class, like mine will have math, and you'll have one for art. All right, yes, we still have to do art. It'll all work out. Go ahead and take everything out of the packet. And I will also have your journal in it, and it'll have all of your homework and instructions that you need for the next few assignments. When you finish assignments, go ahead and put them back in the folder. If you're not finished with assignments, go ahead and keep them at home. But anytime that you're finished with them, put them back in your folders, put your folders back in your accordion folder, and you can exchange it. Your accordion folder B is gonna be here at school and all of your teachers will be putting your next round of assignments in that folder. So when you finish, whatever work is finished, when you come to school to drop it off, maybe you're picking up your lunches and breakfast, it's a great time to also exchange your work. So you will hand off accordion folder A and someone will go get accordion folder B that has your next round of assignments in it. Then your teachers will take things out of A and get that graded. Try to do this exchange as often as possible. It's gonna help you from getting behind in your assignments it's also gonna help your teachers keep up to date with grading all the papers that they need. So I hope that this is a good enough explanation of how we do our drop off and pick up of your accordion folders. There'll be one for each student in your household. Um, what else we need to talk about on that one? I think that's probably it. If you have any questions, you can contact any of the teachers here at school or administrators and they can clarify any of those questions. I hope this finds you well and now you've got something to do while you're at home. Have a great day.